you are a product of your time. That's an interesting phrase. You are a product of your time. It has a twofold meaning. One, it means that the particular time period in history, the culture and the context, ultimately form who you are, form your identity, or you are part, as an individual, part of a greater identity disclosed by the particular period in time and history that you are in. So you are a product of time in that sense. Second, which is the more informal and the non-common understanding of what it means to be a product of your time, the more scientific understanding of time as a concept in nature and therefore you are a product of your time or rather a product of time in the sense of you are indivisible from this concept of nature known as time you are within a moment in time irrespective of the particular culture and context you are in I mean, no matter what culture, context, time period in history you find yourself in, you are first and foremost fundamentally within a moment of time. Or that the moment of time is itself a form of the particular context that you find yourself in. To understand this more clearly, this is the same with having a universal as opposed to a particular understanding of a concept like the concept of man universally has one meaning and particularly has another meaning in the particular sense being a man exhibit features of manhood you're tough you're you're courageous wherever it so be be a man you know a gender <laughs> that's the particular understanding of what it means to be a man because it relates to the individuality of the particular person under question so whether I judge you to be a man or lacking manhood that's a judgment in relation to your merit as either fulfilling or lack lacking and fulfilling the general notion of a man now the general notion of a man, still left untouched, or rather not discussed, is the idea of what it means to be a man. What is the idea of a man? Relates fundamentally to what is his essential purpose. And so when I come up to you and say, well, you're not being a man, or who's the biggest man in the room, you know? There's always an alpha man, <laughs> an alpha male, and so, in this contrast, you have a comparative value between individuals. And so there can only be one alpha male in the room. You know, the alphaist of the alphas. And he has to maintain that for a certain period of time because the second he slips up, somebody may take his place. You know, and then there's like the second alpha. He's, he's, uh, he's sneaking up, trying to take the position of the ultimate alpha. But with the idea of a man as a universal concept, it's not a matter of competing individualities of persons it is rather the idea of each individual person fulfilling their essential nature and so when we speak of the universal idea of man as opposed to the particular we are using that as the standard by which we can measure and judge whether somebody has fulfilled their essence or failed in fulfilling it or lacking in fulfilling it the standard isn't a measure to judge people, you know, for the sake of judging them or coercing them or controlling them. But it does relate to the individual's own idea of himself, whether he has fulfilled the idea of himself or not. And we can judge ourselves if we are not judged by anybody else. And so the general understanding of a man as opposed to the particular meaning of a concept its general understanding, its universal application as opposed to its particular 
contextual application helps us understand how you are a product of your time. You are a product of your time in the sense that you belong to a particular period in history and that period in history has a particular kind of characteristic, culture and context, but it also has a more precise meaning. And that precise meaning is actually also its more universal meaning. When we say it's a particular meaning, what do we mean by something being specific or particular? We're saying it's most exact, its most exact meaning. What is its most exact meaning? And what could be more exact than its most universal meaning? The meaning that is always true all the time, at every point and at every application of the process. You are a product of your time does not only mean that you belong to a particular culture at this period in history, but that this period in history itself fundamentally belongs to the physical concept of time as a fundamental principle in overall nature. And so you are a product of your time in a more microscopic or micro scale sense. And I mean micro scale, not just, oh, you belong to the, you know, a millennia or an era of a particular period in history, but that every moment that is occurring to you at every particular second and minute of your daily life belongs as a product of time, as a product of time.